everyone, it's Jen Bear, and you have had a ton of questions about marinades, and so today I wanna to talk marinades, and I brought in the expert. This is Garth, he's my favorite local butcher, and he's an expert on meat and seafood. So thank you so much, first of all, Garth, for thank joining you, me. Thank you, Jen. And now, help us understand, why would we marinade versus salt, or just seasoning a steak or a piece of meat? Well, marinating not only enhances flavor, but marinating also improves tenderness. The marinades will penetrate into the meat and start to break up that muscle tissue and mm -hmm. soften it up. Okay, good. Well, that's really good to know and that's helpful. Um, you know, also we've got a couple different types of meat here. So I'm gonna start with chicken. Now, I cook a lot of chicken. I like to use this Johnny's Roasted Garlic and Herb uh, Marinade. It's really good. It adds a lot of additional flavor to the chicken, but I'm always worried about marinating it too long. Can you help us understand why we need to only marinate chicken for a little while? Sure, sure. Chicken will uh, is more porous than the beef, and also chicken is usually cut thinner than the beef, so the marinade will penetrate very quickly. Okay. So you have to be really careful with the vinegar or soy-based marinades because they'll burn or they'll begin to cook the product and ruin it. Ah, uh, okay, so I've had that happen before. I accidentally marinated my chicken too long. I got stuck away and it was stuck, my chicken was in, at home in the fridge, it turned a little bit white. Is that what was happening? That's exactly what happened. Okay, so now I would normally marinate this uh, about 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Is that a good time that frame? That sounds about right. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Well, let's move on to pork then because I did get a couple questions about pork chops, bone in versus bone out. Would you marinate them the same way? You'd marinate them the same way. The bone-in meats enhance uh, flavor a little bit Okay. Um, versus boneless meats, but as far as marinating, it'll be about the same thing. Okay, now, and I've got um, a, a mustard-based marinade. It's got a little bit of olive oil, some garlic, some seasoning salt, and um, I would usually keep this in, in the fridge marinating for a few hours. Is that long enough, you'd yeah, say, for this Yeah, that sounds about right. Again, again, we want to be really careful with any soy-based or vinegar-based marinades with the pork chops. Oh, with the pork chops, too? Yeah, so that marinade being uh, oil-based sounds perfect to do for that amount of time. Okay, great, yeah. wonderful. All right, well, let's move on to beef then. We've got a couple different cuts of beef here, and um, the marinade that I made up today was with uh, this Johnny's French dip au jus, and I just mixed it with red wine. Everybody loves red wine, that and it sounds smells fantastic. delicious. Yeah. It gives a nice beefy flavor to our steak, really enhances that natural flavor. So I'm gonna marinate this one. Now, you said I can marinate this overnight, is that right? That's correct. Um, London broil is a great cut. It's a cut of round. It's got great flavor, but it's not known for its tenderness. Okay. So marinating it overnight in this um, wine-based marinade, will make it turn out fantastic. It'll tenderize, it'll break down the muscle tissue, and it'll enhance the flavor. Okay, great. So now I sometimes grill that, but you're saying I can stick it in the oven too and just broil it. You can it. broil it or put it on the on the grill. Okay, yeah. perfect. Now what about this guy? What would well, you do with him? That's where this beautiful sauce comes in in the Johnny's. Again, mix the Johnny's with the wine, um, season the chuck roast, Okay. put it in a heavy skillet and brown it up, and then place it in your, your pot roast container and then pour the uh, the uh, juice mix and the wine into the pot and cook it. Okay. It'll be a fantastic flavor. So this one you wouldn't marinate but you would season it, sear it, and then pour the marinade right into the slow cooker. Use that as the as the fluids for the pot roast. Well thank you so much for You're all welcome. the tips. I really appreciate your help. If you have more questions on meat and marinade, please feel free to ask your butcher. If you have any other questions about the household, feel free to visit my website, jenbear.com.